you just bought this abandoned storage unit because I have an addiction to safes and lock boxes. We paid $130 for it. Let's get into it and see what we can find. help myself when I see little metal boxes I have to buy them even if they're tiny so let's hope there's something in there but also when you're shipping a lot of stuff what's better than a massive probably three feet tall bag of packing peanuts you know that's like Cheetos it does you want to try it you think it's white cheddar Cheetos yeah or cheese curls oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it would taste like that I really don't what the heck is this thing some kind of cushion or massage thingy look at that yeah all right, so some type of massage cushion thingy. We're gonna call it a massage cushion thingy because we're professionals here. Another reason we wanted this unit is this box right here says new whatever that says. That is the brand of our like studio lights new and they were fairly expensive. So we were hoping that meant they had some kind of camera equipment or something like that. This is like a wardrobe bag. Let's see what kind of stuff they got going on. Open up, you. Oh, Ben. Okay, dresses and clothes and stuff like that. Unless it's brand new, it's probably just gonna get donated from us. This right here is just more clothes again. Same thing, I don't really wanna dig into them because I don't know if they're new or dirty or worn or whatnot. So, unless it's something brand new, it's probably just gonna be donated. This tote here, let's hope it's something other than clothes. Open you. And this, what does this go to? This doesn't fit either tote. No. Just a random tote top, all right. Maybe we'll find what it goes to later on in the unit. Let's open this up and see what's in here. What is this stuff? Definitely different. Let's take it out. Put it on the thing. It smells good in here. I don't know what it is. In this tote. <laughs> the tote does? Yeah. So what is this? What is that? What's in here first? What are these things? Whoa. So it's all these. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. They look like lip gloss containers or like makeup containers. All right. This is all food. Maybe that's why it smells good. I think it's because of this, what you said. Dried lotus petals. Probably exactly what's smelling good. What is this thing right here? Versatile. Some kind of machine. Powerful. Revolutionary. You know what else describes it? Huh. Empty. Oh. It's not actually in there. Oh, it's a cricket machine. What is, oh, smart cutting machine? I think it cuts out know. like letters and stuff. All right, let's see what's in this box right here. Black Lotus. All right, there we go. Let's just get the Black Lotus. Yeah. That's the magic card. It's worth card. like a ton of money. In case you were unaware, this Magic the Gathering card called the Black Lotus sells for thousands, sometimes ten thousand plus dollars. That's why I was a little excited. Let's see that. What if it's just in there? <laughs> just the one. There's just one card, card like in like a big box. Like sweet. Um, let's see. Something tells me it's probably a little more literal. Like it's an actual black lotus plant somewhere. But hey, we can hope for the card, right? Yeah. Let's see. Makeup. Oh, it's like brand new makeup bag. Alright. What is this here? There's stuff in this package. Let's see what it is. Whatever they are, they're brand new. What are they? Oh, they're sleeping masks. Okay. It's a bunch of them. So this is probably like at least 50, 60 sleeping masks. I can't imagine it's worth a whole lot, but you know, quantity. Even at a dollar a piece, 50, 60 bucks. Uh, wall talk. Uh, what is that? A humidifier or dehumidifier? I have no idea. Or that. This right here, that's a humidifier. So maybe that's a dehumidifier. Then it looks like mostly wall decor so i'm definitely getting the vibe of somebody that owned a spa right now that's my guess when i looked this person up turns out that they actually do own a spa slash massage parlor in the area that is actually still open so why they lost the storage unit i have absolutely no idea but it is kind of weird for sure so let's continue down the side of the unit this just metal looks like it might be like a shelf or something of some sort i have no clue maybe we can find more parts and that'll clue us in a little bit hopefully because i have no idea either i want to get into this newer newer yeah. with an extra e i know that's it. like he said is what our studio light brand is so i'm assuming it's a light of some sort it is a ring Ooh, light it's a huge ring light big ring light it's new it looks very similar to the one that we use for our auctions already really but huh. yeah i mean at least we can keep it for a backup for sure so. um, and then the the wire cords down there so all we would need is a tripod this particular ring light is selling for about 50 dollars with the case we found it in so that is not a bad find 
I want this tote because it looks like it has a lot of randomness in there. It's got tickets. But, I see tickets. A ticket roll. <laughs> All right. So, ticket roll. 2,000 tickets. Yes. Yeah, maybe we can find a use for these. You know, when I was little, I had an obsession with buying these and picking them. I don't know why. <laughs> and picking them? Yeah, like ripping them all apart. Like I had <laughs> buckets full of tickets. And I don't know why. I'm really weird. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You like tickets. Yeah, right, I so was a weird kid. <laughs> in this bag, we have something fuzzy. It's Dexter. It's Dexter. This one looks like Dexter. That's what we're going to do to him, right? No. <laughs> no. But this is white feathers, just like, I guess, crafting stuff or just decorations. All right. So that, and then we have this thing, laser Ooh. aperture star shower. Only works in the dark. Cool. All right. Definitely have to plug that in. That's just interesting. These two little hmm. bowls, whatever you want to put in them. I thought those were like lizard lights when we bought the unit. <laughs> Some hooks, a clipboard, this. Jewelry. Jewelry. 24 Whoa. piece bead, beat landing. What is that? Uh, nickel free. I don't know what kind of jewelry they are. Oh, charms. Right here. There's a lot of them too. Yeah, huh? charm along. All these are different, it looks like. Turns out these charms are sold in groups 12 packs for $45 at Michael's. So that could be about 45 bucks worth of charms right there. Wow. That's cool. Definitely cool. And then we have this by Artist Noel. Oh, it's like thank you cards or whatever. Some decoration bowls. These are heavy. Mosaic glass tiles. Again, All for right. decoration. These are just like tea lights or LED lights. And then we have a lot of like these little boxes down here. So they had a lot of like decoration craft type things. Down here is a whole bag of from Michaels. More mosaic tiles. Another like craft box there. Let me get onto this side of the tote and see what's over here. Looks like more or less the same, but I want to make sure we have candles. All right. And then here's more of the same skewers, uh, craft box under here. What hey, is a sewing machine. Is it a sewing machine? It looks like it to me. Yeah, a brother sewing machine. What's the model? GX37. Well, there it is. Let's hope that's worth a little something. Yeah. Turns out that sewing machine was selling for about $180 on Amazon. So probably about $60, $80 pre-owned. Add in all the other crafting stuff in here, easily $100 worth in that tote. So we have a big bag here and it feels like all soft stuff, but I can't tell exactly what it is. Let me see if I can find it. Where's the zipper? Here. That's the mystery. <laughs> so the zipper, what is this? Uh. Looks like wraps or something. Maybe ba oh, bathing suits? Might be. Looks like all bathing suits. There's a couple t-shirts down here. Uh, just clothes in general. So I have this handful of clothes that I just picked up off the floor. And this last jacket is actually Ooh. a North Face. Check that out. That's nice. It's like really interesting. I like the colors, flower design on there. And then this is also North Face. Ooh, a nice one. Yeah. Thick. Thick and not dirty really at all. Sweet. Uh, this one is Forever 21, and then this one is Divided. I know we've seen that brand before. Yeah. Hit or miss with like the price on it. That's Rue 21. This jacket, H and M. Come on, big money. One more jacket or two more jackets? Something big. This one is Rober Luis. All right. Okay. And last one here, this little white one is. Columbia. Let's see if this is more camera equipment because it's got the same thing on it, that newer brand. So yeah. let's Definitely check that like out. It. That This is pretty much the main thing I was banking on when we bought the unit. You know I love lock boxes and safes, but guaranteed. This I figured, is just the bonus. Yeah, exactly. Let's see where this thing opens at. Looks like right at I the top. I think you gotta unhook that and then it rolls. All right, let's check it out. Open up. Um, It definitely has got something in it. But where? Like a puzzle to get it I open. know. It's literally like a puzzle. Okay, what is it? It's like a giant stand. It looks like it looks like a bunch of pieces. Oh, here's a tripod. It's a, tripod. It's a light yeah. stand. So it's a light stand. It might go to that actually. Did that um, ring light have the tripod with it? No. Okay, that might be where to go. So here's Let's another one. one. Got a couple tripods in there and a couple metal pieces maybe to extend it. Bigger, shorter, things like that. Let's go into the bigger rectangular thing here. 
Ooh, this looks nice. This Those looks are... definitely more camera equipment. Turns out all this tripod equipment does go to our ring light and it turns our $50 ring light into a $112 set. So an extra $50 of value there. What are you about to say? No, they have the the umbrellas. Like our, remember our very yeah. first lights? Yeah, that I mean, that's have. what they are. Like, <laughs> I think for photography when I see them. These are light bulbs. Light bulbs. These are expensive too. Like camera light bulbs are like 20 bucks a piece. Trust me, when they blow, you gotta order from Amazon. It's like 20, 25 bucks. Or when I break them by accident. Yeah, when <laughs> somebody breaks them <laughs> twice. That was right before we sold them at the yard sale for KT. KT Shutters just got them. Okay, here's some <laughs> more of the umbrellas for the camera light. And then it looks just like a whole bunch of pieces in here. So, I mean, all together, this is definitely, they only paid 130 bucks for the units. So, I mean, realistically, the camera lighting equipment could pretty much cover that easy. This looks like more camera equipment for sure. It goes to those things. This is another tripod of some sort. And this, I'm just gonna assume that it goes to it somehow. I don't really know how, but the assumption is it goes with it somehow. Now, let's see, I almost fell. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's going to this tote right here. Ugh, come on, big boy. Let's see what's in here. This one's kind of already opened. Let's check it out. This is letters, crafting, things like that. And that guy, uh, fabric. It looks like it might be a lot of crafting stuff. Yeah. This right here, foil sheets. Hey look, a calculator, this is a TI-84. TI-84 plus C, this is probably 50 bucks, I bet you. Pretty close to it right here, nice. right there. We paid good. Yeah. Already. Let's see, wood. Wood. <laughs> this is a whole crafting tote full of all kinds of crafting stuff. Bags. And a jellyfish. Nice. Uh, more crafting. Crafting on top of crafting, underneath the crafting, beside <laughs> crafting, below crafting. Yeah, I think it's just safe to say. There's a lot of these little bags in here. Maybe they use them for crafting or maybe they sold the stuff they made and this is like the bag they gave it away in. Yeah. Either which way, I think that totes money. We have wrapping paper, or we can call them holiday lightsabers because you know, if you haven't had a fight with wrapping paper with somebody, then honestly, I personally believe you haven't lived yet. So, you want to go? What you don't want to get wrecked with lightsabers? I do. I do. I get the gold one. If you want the golden one, I'll still take you out. You have yeah, a I got the heavy one. Listen to the <laughs> thickness of this one. Ah! You don't want this. <laughs> And it's hard to do it one hand. Uh, you want this? Now, 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 now. Ah. This arm. Oh, my hand off. Cheating. No, Cheating. no. Cheating. Cheating. Come back. Now that I've defeated you, I'm going to look at <laughs> this brown bag. I don't think you defeated I mean, me. I say I did. I ripped yours. I don't care. <laughs> this is paintbrushes. We have like a crafting massage parlor business going. I know, it's kind of weird. All right, this is just more pens, pencils, things like that. And this is like a bunch of magazines, which to me thinks the waiting room? Maybe that was in the waiting room of their business? That's yeah. my only guess. Guys, right now, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new because we're buying storage units like this all the time. Okay, really? What was the point of that lean back? That was just creepy looking. Please don't ever do that again. This is future Jeebus speaking to past Jeebus. No more of that, back to the video. Next bag we have is a cool bag. This is a very cool What makes bag. it cool? It says cool. That's, That's false advertising. Cool. <laughs> so in the shipping bag we have... Something not cool. Bubble wrap. Oh, that's kind of cool actually. It's like little bubble wrap like packages. All right, we'll take those. All right, all right. And then down here, what is this? Something in here. What is These it? These things? It's like stencils or something. Uh, it's supposed to like make a stand. Huh, okay. okay. That's weird. All right. Now we have name badges, a money receipt book. This is like more notebooks. And then we have like five things of the greeting card envelopes. Office supplies. Yeah, office supplies. Make sure there's nothing down there. Just some thank you stickers. This big black case here. Let's see what's in it. I was hoping it'd be more camera stuff, but it's kind of too big for that. Yeah, definitely too big for that. And definitely too soft for that. I just squeezed it. Oh. So it is a, looks like a massage chair. Definitely. Yeah, because look, there's a little face part in there. I don't know if yeah, you can see you can it on camera, see it. but it's pitch black, but yeah, too dark. Massage chair. We found this massage table selling for $100 brand new and ours is absolutely brand new too. So easy $100 fine right there. Another black bag. See what we have in this one. This one's soft also. Well, oh, it's another clothes type bag. Let me make sure. 
That's all I see in there. Please open. All closed. Yeah, so a bunch of jeans, a couple shirts, it looks like, maybe skirts. Probably a donations. A lot of jeans, yeah, <laughs> definitely donations. So I have another massage chair here. I wish it was in the case. Yeah. It'd make it easier, but no. They wanted to make it complicated. Ow. That's definitely what that is. Yeah, definitely that's what that is. This chair was actually significantly more expensive than the other one. However, it was used, so it's probably gonna go for about the same thing. I would guess about a $100 fine here. Now we have this black case, and let's see what this one has. I'm gonna stand up on the cart. Weird chemicals. Ah, yes, it is very weird chemicals. So this is chamomile oil. I'm so glad you got this. I this would've been mispronouncing this so bad. <laughs> chamomile oil. Looks like the same thing. It almost was broken. <laughs> Almond sweet oil, just a bunch of oils. Coconut oil, sunflower seed oil, sunflower seed oil. I did not say sunflower seed oil the first time. Aloe vera juice, and then whatever that is. I have a dangerous weapon, so I would suggest not messing with me. I honestly have something that I have absolutely no idea what it is. <laughs> um, Some kind of light or heating is it a light? thing. Ozone power. That's like the only, oh, there's something written right here. Let's see, there's a model number, DT-118, but it still doesn't really specify what exactly this is, but it's definitely, definitely something. Turns out that something is a facial sauna steamer, and it's selling for about 35 bucks brand new, so probably $20. Now let's see what's in the big old cardboard box here. Let's see if this one's any different than the totes. Let's see, that's probably something to do with a massage chair. Uh, what is that? Ooh, what's in here? What's your guess? Something Crafty. good. That's even more suspicious. What is that? <laughs> a little random container with... What the heck is that? What the heck? I don't know. I have no clue on what this is. Yeah, we're just gonna put it back in here in case it blows up or something. This right here sounds like glass something. Are these test Bottles. tubes? These are legit what? test tubes. All right. I don't know what was going on here, but we got some like old school cartoon mad scientist test tubes. <laughs> Uh, what are these down here? Butter and soap. Uh, these look like maybe they were making their own kind of like body stuff, body cleaner, lotion, soap, things like that. What is in here? More bottles. So they had to be making their own stuff. Yeah. This right here though. Uh, well, I was thinking it was gonna be jewelry, oils? but it's actually some type of oils. Yeah, weird. Very weird. Soap, I'm just like so not into this stuff. <laughs> Like, it's just so out there for me. Like, I'm just like, you know, bar soap, bottle shampoo, bottle of toothpaste kind of guy. Everything <laughs> beyond that is like way beyond my skill set, but a bunch of random spa stuff. Turns out they did have their own online eBay store, which we found based on the information in the unit. And it's still to this day selling very, very well, which again, really confuses me on why somebody lost this storage unit. It makes me think it had to have been like a management's mistake because they're making good money. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now let's go into this like clear plastic tub thing so again we got more it looks like bottles that they were making their own stuff age defying massage scuffle yeah that kind of stuff so more stuff to point towards owning a spa what is this thing this looks like the box that like tap thing comes in yeah oh, it's exactly what Boy, it is i think these are like 25 or 30 bucks still so that's a cool little find there just stick it back in here next drawer whoa a bunch of beauty makeup brushes eyelash things practice lashes again same kind of stuff they definitely had to have owned a spa down here it looks like more of the same cotton balls what are these are these business cards get, get out they're all the pictures uh, of people what are they just taking massaging people naked and taking pictures of them at the same time <laughs> this is why they got shut down and lost their storage unit <laughs> i don't really know but again a bunch of spa stuff before i get that tote back there i want to remind you guys we still have a cash box up here and this was a business so money is sitting money. in there obviously obviously it has to be let's see if i can even lift this <laughs> just slide it oh, hit, hit it with the cha-cha slide what so hit it with the cha-cha slide <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Slide to the front. Take it back now. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was too funny. All right. In here, we have, well, this looks like, a, like an industrial scale here. Yeah. Let's see. That's their business in the back yep. of the store. <laughs> yep, that's what that is. Uh, we have <laughs> journals. There's a lot of office like supply journals. Thing of sketch, is this a sketch? Oh yeah, sketchbook, I thought it was colored pencils. 
a lot of journals. We have a paper hole punch, uh, some books, binders, paper, like I guess label makers and stuff, like shipping labels. And right. over here, more of the same. Let's see what's in here. What is that? A scan gun. A scan gun. <laughs> we, we can put barcodes on our yard sale stuff. Yeah. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar. Next, I'm gonna grab this tote. It looks like clothes on the top, but this gap bag over here on the left feels like it has something in it. So this is just a pillow. What and is that? This. Maybe this is a foot pedal for the sewing machine. Probably. Probably. That's probably the hard thing that I felt. And then we have pliers or. I'm so bad with tools. I have no idea what they're, that's called. They're pliers to me. <laughs> pliers. Scissors. I know what that is. <laughs> uh, the rest of this stuff. Hey, look. King's Dominion. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of this stuff is just like pieces of clothes. Maybe kids clothes. It looks like they were trying to make something out of it, honestly. Yeah, probably. So under that, we have Oops, some, uh, some, some stuff. Here's certificate. Let's artistry. Oh, well, that Ex makes sense. Yeah, lash extension course. All right. So they were in like cosmetology type thing. All this is like black sheets, like black pillowcases, probably the stuff that they put on the massage tables, I'm assuming. Probably. Uh, we have this, which goes to something. Maybe it goes to the massage thing that we found in the yeah. beginning. That goes into that little port it that you pulled out. It does look like it. Uh, we have this metal thing. And the rest of this is just sheets and towels, which will be donated. Another tote, another big tote with a bunch of stuff in there. Oh yeah. This one is not close. What is it? It looks like more like crafting stuff, right? Well, this tote does have balls. It does have balls. A lot of them too. Yeah. This is a tough tote. <laughs> <laughs> this is more uh, crafting stuff like tissue paper, permanent adhesive thingies, gold light up balloons. That's kind of cool. Party. Party. We gotta save those for our million subscriber party, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> By the way, you should subscribe if you're not already because we're almost halfway there. So we have some table placemat things. A lot of gold stuff. I guess like their business just like the color gold. Yeah. Uh, more foil sheets. What is this? Wood glue. Uh, a couple water bottles. What is this? I wonder. A pencil pouch? Sharpie pouch. Sharpie pouch. We can always use Sharpies. Yeah. And this whole tote right here, we're crafting. I don't want to spill it all, but you guys can see a lot of crafting stuff in there. And down here, we have more of these like boxes. Again, they probably sold their stuff in that. Um, but this is all like good, good sellable stuff. Definitely. For our daily timer. Okay. All right. And what is this last thing down here? little file folder that is empty but again good sellable stuff so on the floor here is a box full of a bunch of like see-through empty plastic containers so again probably they put like lotions oils things like that in there that's all that that is this is a santa claus hat yeah. this is old or this is runescape it'd be worth a lot of money <laughs> but unfortunately would. it's not we got stocking and more you know christmas this though this is one of the reasons i wanted to buy the unit well, it's not empty. At least we got that much. I think it's... Oh, it is unlocked. Uh, well, right now, you better go down to the comments and say big money. If you don't, I don't like you no more. I don't. No. We're no longer friends. We're no longer friends if you don't go put it. You ready? Remember, the owners of this unit have generated thousands of dollars on their eBay store, thousands of dollars in their spa business, so they have money. Let's see what's in the box. Come on, something. Boom. Looks empty. But this Pop's comes... empty. The bottom's not. <laughs> it oh. just has keys in it. Aww. I guess if you're smart enough to run two very successful businesses over multiple years, you're probably a bit too smart to leave cash inside a storage unit. But still, how did this thing go up for auction? <laughs> it literally just has the key mean. to the thing. <laughs> but, but, at least it was unlocked so we didn't have to break it. At least right. that's the positive. positive. And more containers. Always something positive. Yeah, I guess we could say that. Then we have this shelf container. More like the people really massage people with like avocado oil. Like I would feel weird if I walk into a massage parlor and they whipped out like some great value avocado <laughs> oil. Like I'd probably walk out, but I don't I mean I don't know the industry. A bunch more oils, things like that. Over here, same thing. Looks like we got some pieces to the massage tables over here. This is obviously in case they were ever broken into, they would have to take somebody out and it'd just be like spinning it like one of those movies and just beat the crap out of somebody with it. It's and they lit were up, so actually. fancy that they decorated it. I know. I was gonna say it's all lit up. So when you get beat up, you get beat up by a lit up blue stick. 